Okay, so this game's simply known as Steg the Slug. This is a Codemasters production created in 1993. I think 1993, it could be 1992. Okay, this, yeah, this music sounds very familiar. Wow, that just reeks of cheapness. Because if anyone's heard of the game Panic Dizzy, came in one of the collections, I think they've sold it separately as well, but Panic Dizzy was essentially a Dizzy and at the same time not a Dizzy game, because it just involved the characters, but you would, it was just like a shape fitting in uh, simulator. And the music here is identical to Panic Dizzy, save for that it's slightly increased in tempo. So, not a good start. I mean, it's cool music, but we've heard it all before. Right, okay, so enter password, um, slug, slug dudes. I'm guessing that was wrong. I hope that wasn't a copy protection bit. Oh, level one, okay. You must save at least five... Uh, Tiangzo's? Is that how it's pronounced? Save at least five. Um, okay. Uh, no idea what we collected there. Did it just give us points? Okay. What the heck's going on there? Okay, um, what exactly are we supposed to do? How are we, can we actually, get, can we actually get further than this? Like, what the heck? Hmm. I never expected to consult the manual this soon, but the server, let's have a look. Oh, oh, wait a second. We've, uh... Oh, you just climb up like that. So, okay, left and right. And then up and down. But the thing is, <laughs> when we picked up that bonus that gave us legs, that didn't really help. I just wasted time, didn't it? And we lost energy for a fall. Okay, so buy a button. Makes us blow bubbles. And we lose a bit of energy each time we blow a bubble. Hang on, let's uh, check this. Let's check out more of this level, first of all.
music's a bit trippy. The in-game music is certainly better than the title screen music. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, it's a jetpack. Okay. Now, if you had a jetpack on all the time, that would probably make for a much better game. I reckon. So, we blow bubbles into... Oh, that didn't work, did it? Oh, we popped the bubbles ourselves. Ah, so we were sort of responsible for that. I don't think we were supposed to pop them. Oh, so we sort of... What, feed them? I guess? Just noticing the rest in peace... Uh, gravestones. So if you don't feed them quickly enough, then they all, then your offspring all die, perhaps? I think we're probably too late. Okay, let's, uh, well, let's just experiment. Let's uh, play the waiting game, see what happens. Yeah, keep forgetting that you can't jump, only sort of sliver around, unless you've got other stuff to help. So I'm looking at the, f the icon on the far right that's slowly changing from a green face to a rest in peace symbol. Does that, when that happens, do we lose? Yeah, they got, well, they're dying anyway. So that would mean we've lost, surely. So why hasn't it gone to like a game over or anything like that? Oh, <laughs> there we go. There were no surviving... Oh, and they even use the Dizzy Panic game over screen. Yeah, I don't actually know what came first, if it was Panic Dizzy or this, but it's still cheap to use the same music for different Codemaster games. That'd be a great password, mucus lords. So is the question mark going to be... I'm guessing these ones are just points. So that's 25 points. That's 20. And does this just give you... What was it? That jumping machine. Oh. No, that made us lose energy. So the question mark ones are always going to be random then? Right, and that one's always jetpack. Okay, let's stop blowing bubbles on these weird, um, what they call like lava things. Wait, what did that? Why did they? Why did some of them get through and some, some of them burst their bubble? Okay, so two of them are asleep, so that means we just need three more to go.
still need more? Okay. Ouch, that was a bit of a long drop. Not even sure if I'm doing this right or not. Why does... <sighs> Okay, I still need to sort one of them out. Now why why are now the bubbles starting to burst? Now what am I doing what did I do differently? Oh don't I You let too many staff to like one, you mean? <sighs> this feels ra random, honestly. I, I know what to do, but sometimes the bubbles with the lava inside them, they successfully reach to that area. Other times they just burst and I don't know why. You know, like they hit a wall instead and I don't think I'm doing anything differently. I don't understand it. That was fine that time, but again, no idea what I did differently. Absolutely none. Okay, that's a, that's a ridiculously long password. I suppose I better note this one down. Um, what's that? RDN. RDN. UH. Uh, double C M G U. Okay, here we go. Well, at least we made it to a new level, so I guess that's something. I don't know, it's just something about this game I don't like. It's not just because it's Codemasters, it's just... Maybe because it is Codemasters, but... You know, when I first, when I first, you know, loaded it up and you're straight away greeted with the Dizzy Panic soundtrack, I just thought, yeah, 
feels sort of cheap. Okay, so you gotta guide them there. Oh, that's an apple? Okay. Oh, that... That lowers our energy. Not good. Oh, that's... As does that apple. Okay, well, lesson learned. Does that one... And that increases health. Okay. Um, okay, so that goes down and up. And as you, wow, you even lose energy as you hold down fire. Maybe, I don't know, it's, it's the game's way of saying, well, you're, you're holding your breath too much. Therefore, pay the price. And also, I hate these legs because they're kind of not very productive. This essentially means I'm sort of stuck in limbo before they sort of wear off. And it takes a very long time before they wear off. I don't know if it's, uh, this is a success or not because I can't really find out. Oh. I guess that was my fault. But it doesn't look like we're succeeding because they're still um, hungry. I didn't even that connect. Like, what the hell? Oh, you can actually go down that bit. Oh, and eat more manky apples. <laughs> okay, that's, so that's how we die. So, if either one of our offspring gets too hungry and starves to death or we die ourselves, that's how you get game over. Because we've got to type in the password.
Oh, now it seems to be working fine. So it seems like you have to not only, you know, figure out the puzzle, but just like figure it out almost immediately. Yeah, this one's... I mean, it's not the worst Codemasters game, not even by a long shot. It's still a bit iffy, though. Uh, what have we got here? E D O U T I. Why do the puzzles have to be so long as well? Then again, Lemmings had that same problem, didn't it? But E D O Ed out I O C K O. Okay. Unicron, hey man, how's it going? Still kind of halfway there to be honest. Not really sure where I'm at. But uh, yeah, hope all, hope you're doing good. Uh, could be better, but uh, just the way, th the way things are. I mean, we were slug with legs that kind of jeopardizes our movement, which is brilliant. If you listen carefully, you can still hear the voice. Well, that's something. I think. Oops. <laughs> Just burst my lava. Actually, the volume is a little bit on the obnoxious side. I know it's quite, quite quiet, but... Let's turn that down a bit. There we go. Okay, it doesn't look like we're being successful here. I'll have to consult the manual just to see if there is a way to sort of detach yourself from those mechanical uh, legs. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, seriously, if you can hear my voice, uh, let me know. Just give me some kind of notification. It might be just like it's, I'm very quiet on my end, but uh, I don't know. Okay, we sedated some of our offspring. Oh, we have to go back here again. So maybe sometimes they spawn at the bottom and then other times they spawn around the middle of the level? Oh, I see, so they burst there. You really have to know what to do in advance. I 
Okay, so uh, that's good. I'm glad my voice is uh, working fine. Why is that bubble being a bitch? And yeah, apologies for not being around the last three days, but uh, yeah, believe me, believe you me, I really wanted to um, stream those last three days, but uh, there's a bit of flu going around, and unfortunately caught some of that. That's just the way things go. Other people have it way worse. We all think we're immune to everything, and then suddenly we're not. I mean, this, oh, what? Yeah, it is just some bad level design, honestly. Because, yeah, other times it's just oh, amazing. This is really bad. the game treats you like a tool, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, pretty much do this immediately. See what happens. Seems to be cooperative now. There we go. So, so far the level, it hasn't really been an issue with the um, difficulty in that sense. Like the levels are pretty easy to solve. I just noticed that in some instances the bubbles pop for no reason and in other instances it all seems to go okay. Which, okay, stuff like that happens, but the way that the game sort of punishes you for not really... The way the game sort of punishes you for not making a mistake just kind of sucks. 
Um, what's that? HDP F U V L double C F. Okay, new music, nice. A jetpack, cool. Oh, okay, uh, why even have a lever there? Just give us empty space. Oh, okay. I guess you could say this level has spiked up a bit. Um, what exactly what are we supposed to do there then? Oh, I see you nudged him. Right, okay. But by the time you sort of figured out what you had to do, it's we're probably already too late anyway. That's one way of doing it as well, I guess. Well, that one's full enough. Yeah, well, I know we've screwed this up, but, uh, well, we'll see. Not gonna get any more. Oh, here we go. Can we just hit escape? Nope, of course not. U, F1.
to die. <laughs> what if his tools are from camp? I'd still want my money back, damn it. I don't really want to find out if they got pound lad in the afterlife. <laughs> Pol Poltergeist lad, yeah. Polter lad. Let's check out the manual. See what sorry excuse it has to say for itself. Meanwhile, enjoy the dizzy panic music. Okay, well the story seems more interesting than the rest of the game, so I might as well read it out. Sticks a slug, a slippy, slimy, sloppy slug, and a, and a one-parent family to boot. The boring fact of life is that the nippers always need feeding. Nosh, nosh, nosh. Grubs are the main food stuff of Steg's guns. They snack on them by the ton. Poor old Steg without arms and legs. He's just a bit hopeless at catching the dancings. A bit like the people who are programming this have no arms or legs. But this is where his acne bionic bits and pieces catalog came in. Oh, I can't bother. This story's just not as fun as it's making out to be. Now Stig can blast up shot shafts with his rocket pack, tiptoe across glass with his acne st steg legs. Take a dip with his scuba diving kit. Ooh, don't remember that. And whiz around the level with his nitrous oxide speed up pills. Hints and tips. Remember, you can sliver up and down walls. Thanks. Thanks, game. I'm not even sure if this game was reviewed by any magazines. I don't even know if anyone actually bothered to review this.
Oh, I see the petrol. I have right the petrol from the jetpack actually uh, mutilates the uh, lava. How can I get the bubbles moving to the left? Or do I have to find a way to turn this off? I have no idea. That bit's fine, but... Oh, that's a trampoline! You think the spikes would in insta-kill us? I'm surprised they don't do anything. Wait, that... Why did that one suddenly just float in the middle? But the other's just like... I don't understand. Is that a, is that for, is that a fact? My God, that's um. Okay, so I just had to blow the bubbles there instead. Let's see the logic behind that. Amiga power for shame. I mean, everyone for shame. Wow. I hate to be that guy that says everyone is wrong except me, but. Everyone is wrong. <laughs> They're just. How did they get some enjoyment out of this? So we had to blow the bubbles here and not there because reasons, I suppose. And the biggest problem is there's no, like, leeway for mistakes. Like, you pretty much have to go for... So, so far with the levels, you have to pretty much be quick right off the bat. Um, okay, well... 45 minutes, there's, um... I'm kind of curious to see what the uh, later levels are like. Curious in a morbid kind of way.
Okay, this is actually quite surprising. I was expecting more levels than this. There was only there's only ten levels. So again, it's Codemasters. I guess they're sort of compensating the shortness of the game with by being, you know, with silly uh, difficulty. Um, okay, what we'll do, we'll try it. There's ten levels. We are going to try it out. Maybe level eight. What's that? Ned GF LD VRL, and then maybe level nine if there's time. Oh wow, <laughs> you must save at least a three this time, so the number's actually gone down from five to three. I think that makes things very worrying. Um, oh, I suppose we need to hit that lever. Okay, so that opens up that bit. Oh, whatever that is, that drains our energy. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, this game doesn't really just it doesn't really interest me. It's a nice idea, but um, just don't think it's ex executed that well. Friendly Phil, wow. <laughs> Expect to see Steg again very soon. Yes, underneath my Wellington. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just a slug hater, what can I say? Certainly not my kind of thing. Vehicles, no, no, exactly. 
Yeah, I I don't get it. I really don't. I think we had to use our um, jetpacks sparingly on this one. Yeah, just uh, really don't see the appeal here. So yeah, just gonna have a quick glimpse at level 9. I don't know, at least some of the music and graphics are a little bit different. <laughs> I, I'm not ready for level 9. I wasn't ready for level 1. I wasn't ready for the title screen. Oh no, into the fire. Oh, am I supposed to hit that thing?
Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this one, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, kind of glad we never bought this one. Actually, we never really bought a load of Codemaster games, aside, you know, aside from the Dizzy Packs. That was when, that's when I felt Codemasters just uh, peaked, basically. And, you know, not, not all their games have been horrible. I quite enjoyed, uh, what was it called, CJ the Elephant. That was alright. Still had a few, like, problems, but was okay. But yeah, I'll go to f I'll go I'll go as far as to say that this one is definitely not my cup of tea. Very surprised to see that this one got mainly like positive scores, because I just couldn't see the appeal on this myself. And I'm a puzzle fan, you know what I mean? I love games like Lemmings and things like that. Exit's pretty good as well. But uh, this one, I just I just don't see the appeal. And uh, yeah, with our offspring very, very close to our death, I think we'll wrap it up there. I hope everyone enjoyed this, the um, video. Uh, I know I didn't.